Let's get right into it. Yo, what's good guys? This is me, Rekind of 15 here, and welcome back to another video of 60 seconds. Um, we're gonna continue where we left off from last time. So, we have... I don't know where we left off. I think it's just Ted left, right? It's just Ted alive. I'm pretty sure. I think Dolores is dead, right? Day 67, so we've broken our record of last time. Yeah, Dolores is dead. Timmy and uh, Mary Jane ran away. We are an absolute shame, boys. Um, we don't have a med kit. Or a farm. Uh, if Sherpop considers our shelter as home now, we might as well try to get along. We could try to carry it around and pet it on the head. All cats like a good pet. And Sherpop could hopefully be no exception. Otherwise, any attempt to touch the cat could lead to our untimely deaths. Should we try to play with him? Sure. No, we're gonna die anyway. We might as well spend our last days with the cat. What happened? We actually rubbed its head before it ran away in panic. It was nice and soft. They say petting a fluffy animal is good for you. And sure enough, we feel slightly better. Wasn't so bad. It sure probably didn't look happy when we stopped its afternoon nap to pat it on the head, but that's all. Maybe once we muster enough courage again, we'll try it. Let's see. Starved and dehydrated. He's also sick and fatigued. Uh, our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and uh, desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from the local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter. As part of the community, we helped st Oh yeah, I remember. This was not last time. Last time we went to rob the school, we almost died. Day 69! Hooray! And we still have a dead wife. Uh, robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot stoop that low. It's important to keep our values even in these troubled times. Especially in these troubled... Damn. Let's set uh, a shiny example and leave these poor people alone. Yep. These poor little kids, too. Then again, I don't really give a crap about these little kids. Especially. Day 70, holy moly. We're actually doing pretty well. And nothing really big. Uh, Ted is still hungry. Nothing too bad though. Uh, we woke up to dripping sound and today noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. That green li uh, liquid looked innocent enough. Even after it ate through the table, and the chair and the floor. Passing up that pipe is probably a good idea. We're gonna have to use the one thing we have. We saw the gas mask, that's good. Uh, how problem solved, no leak, no mess, back to our tiny little shelter. And nothing, two days happening, hungry, thirsty. We're still gonna try to save up our stuff. They offer a gun for a book and a med kit for a buck spray. We don't have anything. And there's a knock on the door. Who is it? All the girls were very brave to walk around the wasteland like that. Sadly, they didn't have any anything of interest to us. So we declined their offer. They wished us a nice day and left. So what's new? What's new in the hood? Dehydrated, starved, eat your food, sonny. And, uh, the doc came knocking on the door to collect the supplies that he requested. 
They're they're important for the project, he said. We can trust him. After all, he's a doctor. Four bottles of water? We barely have that. No, hell no. Uh-uh. I'm good. Bye-bye. My cat. Uh, day 73. Uh, this guy is a bit too nutty, even by our standards. We'll hold on to our supplies for now. We can always change your minds later. Oh, my leg got locked up. Ow. As we consider, as we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our mind of thought. It turned out we visited a by a band of survivors who were in a pre, who were in pretty bad shape. Uh, all they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicine to attend their wounded. Here's a soup can. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It was a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek the shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they make it out of there. Oh, we hope they make it out there. Oh my gosh. You would expect the post-apocalypse uh, to be a time of peace and quiet, since you know most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet here we have someone at the door. We have, when we opened it up, we encountered a strange-looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him for a a water chip. A water chip? What the hell is that? Eh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. We're gonna die anyways, who cares? And Ted just sneezed. Damn. That sucks. The visitor wasn't very happy that we didn't have a water chip, or that we didn't know what that one was. We did help himself to the water we offered him, and explained the chip is of utmost importance before we learned anything more he left for the whiskey. That was a waste of time. But I mean, maybe he'll come back and help us. Probably not, though. When I went back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map or a town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup. Shall we go check? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's starting to creep me out. Oh, we got a book! We're lucky to have spotted that map. The spot marked a small hiding place and had, and we found some useful supplies there. Uh, we found a useful, uh, useless surprise. Surprise. Supplies, actually. And yeah, we're running out of stuff. I don't want to send, uh... We don't even have enough water for us now. Well, for Ted. Oh my god, dude. Uh, some door to door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join some of the Astro Simpson. We refuse. Now he just wants supplies and says he will reveal some state secrets. So let's return on oh, As a rule, we don't trust the door to door salesman, especially ones who attempt treason. We told him to go back to whatever planet he dropped to Earth from. We got angry and stomped, uh, stormed off, mumbling something about our souls are going to be devoured by alien lord young. Huh? Poor guy, he seemed very confused. Okay. Cool. Uh, just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invited, invaded by a group of bandits 
is on the other side of that, that door, demanding we walk out hands in the air or they will get in the hard way. That doesn't sound too good. What do we do? It's all we can do. And our axe is on. Our axe broke during the fight. We should get a new one as quickly as possible. We were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? Which they will. Uh, for an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn, and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor, and coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. Why not? Is there a knock on the door? What was in that manhole? No stone unturned. <gasps> Yo! We got a med kit! We found treasure down there. Pills, bottles, and other medical supplies were stacked on a few shelves down in a narrow room. Just enough to stock our first aid kit. Good for us. We didn't find the source of the noise. We give Ted the first aid kit and we give him some water. Uh, we don't send him for an expedition and that stupid doctor is back. Yes. Feels good to see Ted normal again. They were soup alone. We can't just hand out our supplies to random wacky wastelanders. Even if they claim to be scientists, the whole farce is over. And it's our cat. Um, open in the name of freedom come a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who intrudes himself like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Can we open it? Why not? Yeah, I don't care. We're alive! Opening the door revealed a group of armed teenagers, possibly high school students. On some cherry uh, to what we expected, they were fr very friendly and requested to know if we've seen any reds nearby. We couldn't help them. When they found out we were not armed, they were kind enough to leave us a spare rifle. We asked who they were. All they said was Wolverines. Thank you for the rifle. That's uh, pretty helpful. I'll give you a soup. Oh, I just farted. And the last time we went out on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there out in the open. It looks damaged, but may have contained some useful supplies. Shall we send someone to investigate? Yes. Ted's gonna get sick, but who cares? Who really cares? Ah, oh, he's not gonna get sick. He's not sick. Oh, we got some ammo! Nice! Start. Almost certain these are bandits around. Running into them would be a big mistake. Uh, just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. Um, invaded a group of bandits on the other side of the that door, demanding we walk out hands in the air, or they will get in the hard way. Same thing, we use the rifle, we kill him. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but we were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? Who cares? Who cares? What? Might be able to, I don't know, dude. What if the raider camp on our street? has been uh, especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. We 
won't stand for that. Somebody should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland aren't just miserable victims. And that someone should be us. Yeah, we just start shooting them. Bow, bow, bow! Damn! Did we kill one? Oh, no, we didn't. Damn it. Oh, we lost a rifle when we gained one. We bravely stormed into the camp, screaming insults and threats at the top of our lungs. Sadly, there was no one there to appreciate to appreciate our courage. It looks like the bandits went raiding and left the camp empty, thinking no one would dare to get close to it anyway. But not us. We fearlessly collected whatever we could from the su their supplies and courageously ran back to the shelter. We think it's the ultimate proof that we're not in danger. We are the danger. Fear us! Hoorah! I'm so annoyed. Okay, uh... Do we send him? We're running out of supplies. Uh, claustrophobia is a difficult to fight against. Especially in the little cluttered bunker. Maybe if we could open the door for just a few minutes, let's go. Toxic Aaron is the worst way to do anything. Oh, shoot. Um... Uh, yeah. Uh, Ted is going crazy. Clearly. Keeping the door closed was the right thing to do, but the tensions are rising in our tiny little shelter. Ted is a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, we'll send Ted with a gas mask. Or an echo check. There it is. No, we died! I was supposed to be in the uh, supply run. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Ted never returned. The lock shelter will forever hold its secrets. At least until someone with a hacksaw and lots of patience comes along. No! <laughs> Holy crap, we did pretty good. We lasted 92 days. That's nearly 100 days. And we finished. Damn. We did good. We did really good. Um, of course we died, though, so that's not that good. Every single time I make a part three, we end up making the wrong decision and we die. Why is the- oh, Ted! Ted here! Ted here! Um... Well, what- I, I keep forgetting- So, if you guys did enjoy this and want to see another series of this, make sure to leave a like to- I just saw UFO 5 Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, see, and I'll, um, make another video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.